hacker can actually listen to everything that's going on in, in the room that the phone is in, regardless of whether you're on a phone call or not. Hello, my name is Ang Sui. I am the founder and chief scientist of Red Balloon Security. So we took a Cisco phone, we took it apart, and we looked at it not like a telephone, but like a computer. It has a handset, it has a screen, it has a bunch of numbers you can dial, but it also runs a whole lot of very vulnerable software. We extracted the firmware that runs on that computer, and we systematically mapped out things that look like vulnerabilities. And over the course of two and a half months, we figured out exactly where the vulnerabilities are in a portion of the system that we can reach uh, as an attacker. So what can someone do if they were able to exploit the software and the firmware running inside your phone? Well, they can certainly listen to you when you're making phone calls. They can probably figure out who you're calling and when, but it goes way beyond that. The microphone never turns off, so the hacker can listen to every single thing that the phone hears 100% of the time without stop. So in order to pull off this attack and a lot of the other attacks we've disclosed over the years on IP phones, you don't need physical access. You can hit this vulnerability th over the network remotely. Hi, this is Business Insider. Stop listening to me. After we get access to the microphone, we decided to do something more fun, and we feed all that data into a speech-to-text engine, and we tweet out the output of that. So instead of having to listen to all these conversations, you can just read it on Twitter. So this demo was produced as part of a greater research into embedded device vulnerability, and we're happy that we work very closely with Cisco in order for us to hand over the, the vulnerability. We disclosed it to them, and they were able to very quickly turn around and issue a patch that fixed this specific security problem. I'm really happy to say that Cisco has updated the firmware on this phone, so that specific vulnerability is no longer there in the IP phones that have been updated. So there are a few problems with this. One, according to the research that we put out, very few people update firmware. This is not, hopefully this isn't news to you. You probably, like everyone else, don't want to update all of the devices firmware as soon as they come out. And in fact, the world is really bad at keeping the firmware of embedded devices up to date. So even if the vendor issues a security patch for the Cisco phone, the chances that all of the world have applied this patch is very low. The second thing is this is not a special case. We looked at a number of other IP phones and we did not find a single IP phone that didn't fundamentally have security vulnerabilities that could allow the attacker to achieve exactly what you're seeing here on those phones. So if you have an IP phone on your desk right now, chances are there are known vulnerabilities that will allow an attacker to do exactly what we're showing you is possible on the Cisco phone.